Hey Freaky Babies and welcome back to another reset video. This one is going to be a weekly reset. I'll be sharing a week in my life showing how I stay balanced, productive, and keep it all together. So if you're interested in seeing how your girl gets it done, sit back, relax, hit that red subscribe button, and let's get straight into it. Bricky baby so to start this weekly reset um as you can see i started on sunday february 19th i decided to go ahead and go to target i wanted to pick up some essentials that we would need um throughout the week and for the upcoming week so that's usually what i do every sunday so on this particular sunday i went to target picked up a few items i also went by Publix, and we picked up our groceries for the week like I said, this is something that I do every Sunday. And then, of course, once I got home, some stuff you guys don't see because it can be a little repetitive. And honestly, I was tired. So I knew that I wanted to plan this weekly reset because I didn't want to exhaust myself on this one particular Sunday. So this Sunday, all I did was went to the grocery store. I cleaned out the refrigerator. I wiped down the kitchen a little bit, which you guys won't see in this video. And then that was it. So this type of reset is really good for those that want to fully enjoy their Sundays and not feel like it's just filled with me folding clothes, cooking, going grocery shopping, trying to add in self-care, trying to edit if you're a YouTuber, or work on your business if you have a business. Or, you know, sometimes we just need Sunday to relax and mentally prepare for the week. So if Sunday resetting is not your thing, I highly recommend doing a weekly reset because y'all, I honestly love this. So next, we're getting into Monday. This is after work. Usually when I get off work, I'm getting ready to prepare for dinner. Y'all know your girl gonna light a candle. I'm gonna set the vibe. I love my house to smell good, to be cozy. But as you saw, I took out some shrimp. Lord Jesus. If you're new here, this is me in real life. If you know me in real life, you are not surprised. But Usually throughout the week, I'm always like cleaning up or picking up behind me and my husband. Well, I really don't have to pick up behind my husband because my husband pick up behind himself. But you, you know what I mean. Like we're always spot cleaning and doing things as we go. That way it doesn't feel like so much work on the weekend. So this is something that I do honestly every day after work, y'all. Just, just walk. <laughs> Listen, if you do not have a Leo in your friend group, girl, get you one of us because we are crazy and we love to have a good time. So that is one thing. Your girl is always going to have some music on. But yeah, like I was saying, we like to spot clean throughout the week. So usually after work, I'm going to fluff the couch, fix the pillows, because I've actually been working from the living room. I work from home if you're new here. And girl, I'll be setting up in the living room. So every day after work, I'll fluff my pillows, you know, straighten up the couch, make it look neater. Um, I'll also wipe down the coffee table every now and then. I may vacuum here and there. I didn't mop on this particular day, but I did vacuum because with me sitting here every day, I don't know, I feel like a little lint and I don't know, I just like those clean vacuum lines. Let me know if I'm the only one. But yeah, y'all, I just usually pick me a space. This can be different throughout the week. It's whatever space that may be aggravating you. Like sometimes it's our closet. It could be our bedroom. It could be our car. You'll see a little bit more stuff as we go throughout the week. But on this particular Monday evening, I wanted to refresh the living room. And that's exactly what your girl did. And you guys, I do want to add before I forget, if you are looking for a new vacuum, please get your hands on this one, okay? Look no further. Hit the description box and I will have the link below. But y'all, I love this vacuum. If you have hardwood floors on your first floor or your main level, girl, even if you don't have just hardwood floors, this right here gets the job done. It makes your life so much easier. I don't have to sweep I do sweep every now and then, but I do not have to sweep that often. I can use this thing and it picks up every little piece of dirt, hair, 
everything especially if you have fur babies definitely get your hands on that so make sure you check the description box below it is from target and girl go get it and it's pretty affordable and they always have it on sale <laughs> All right, so now we're about to get into dinner. Now this is where your girl was slacking just a little bit because the goal here for me was to meal prep, but y'all, I got a little tired, I got a little lazy. I was like, you know what? I'm still feeling like it's Sunday. I don't wanna do anything, but I'm gonna push through. So I decided to cook some Cajun pasta now. If you're not new here, you know your girl love Cajun pasta. I have cooked this several times on my channel. I will actually have a video linked where I show how I make it in case you want to try it because it's really, really good. Um, I won't say it's the healthiest because, you know, it has the heavy whipping cream, the cheese, the seasonings and stuff like that, but it's really, really good. But the goal here, you guys, was to meal prep. That way, I don't have to worry about cooking dinner throughout the rest of the week. I can save money, but it's okay. We were able to eat on this Monday night and Tuesday night, and then Wednesday night, I cooked again. I, I can't remember, girl. Or we grabbed something, but I'm trying to get back on track. So the goal during the week, um, or before the week gets started, is to meal prep on Sundays and Wednesdays. So that's what your girl's gonna be doing from here on out, because I can't meal prep just on Sunday and eat all that food the whole week. I get tired of it, I get bored with it, and then I end up wasting money, and I don't like that. So we gonna get it together and get back on track, I promise. But y'all, let me just say something real quick about this, cause I don't know if y'all are noticing while y'all are watching, but am I the only one that be adding partially to everything? And I'm talking about a lot of it. You gonna see more later when I'm finishing up the pasta, but I just feel like it looks, so I don't know, it just make your food look good, okay? Don't be like, oh my God, here she go with all that aesthetically pleasing. That ain't what I said. That ain't what I said. I'm just saying, it's something about partially on food. It makes it look beautiful. Beautiful. It makes it look, it makes you excited to eat it. Okay, I'm just being greedy. But I'm just saying, look, all that they gonna partially. <laughs> They pass so quickly, I don't know where I've been One minute I'm in control, then my head's in a spin oh, 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 tell me where does my mind go? Maybe one day I'll succeed if I don't watch it Just let myself move with Tuesday here and I wanted to throw in washing my car this week um, I feel like for us ladies some of us because I can't speak for everybody some of us this is a challenge I know for me I prefer for my husband to do this but sometimes we have to show up for ourselves regardless single or in a relationship we like to get done stuff we like to get things done for ourselves so um, on this particular day, I was like, you know what? 
we reset at the house, we keep our house in order, I want to keep my car in order. So I decided to go to the car wash, just took it through real quick. Um, you know, they have the different packages, so you can pick what um, is best for you, even if you don't like to drive through these, because honestly, y'all, I hate driving through this. That's why he's laughing, because I told him I was scared. Um, but you know, you can get somebody to come out to your house. You can take your car to be hand washed. I feel like hand wash is the best. It gets the cleanest, but this was after work and I don't have much time. So I wanted to do something quick and that's what I did here. So I'm just going through the car wash and then I'm going to wipe down the inside of my car a little bit as ladies try not to do this late late at night unless you're in a very lit area because safety is first so i didn't take a whole lot of time wiping down the inside and stuff because i didn't want it to you know get too dark and just wanted to make sure i was going to be okay out there by myself so yeah but that's just a little tip you could try to do this on your lunch break you could do this early in the morning like i said everybody doesn't work monday through friday so you could do this on a day that you're off um and i just thought about that that's another good recommendation because everybody here um and everybody doesn't work a nine to five so if you don't want to reset on sundays or you don't even want to reset throughout the week if you're off like on a random tuesday Wednesday, pick those days to reset, but also make sure you save yourself some time to rest as well. So we can only do so much, you guys. We gotta remember that. We can only do so much and it's gonna be days where we don't wanna do nothing at all. And that is perfectly fine. All right, y'all, so your girl is back home and I'm getting ready to clean one of the most used areas in anybody's home, which is the bathroom. Now, normally my husband does this and normally he will, you know, clean the bathrooms every Saturday. But I don't know, I was just in one of those moves i wanted to have my music on and i just wanted to come in and just smell that fresh clean environment so i just went in and did my thing those two cleaners i just showed you guys are amazing the one that's sitting on the counter that's kind of clear that is the method shower door cleaner it is amazing especially if you have one of those little squinchy things your shower door will stay like super clear and clean so definitely check out the description box for that and then the other one is a cleaner that i got from my friend kelly i have never used that one before but the fragrance on that one is eucalyptus and y'all it smells amazing so definitely check those out but yeah y'all i don't know i just i don't know this right here made me feel so good like honestly i was slick not gonna do it but I was like, no, just go ahead and knock it out. You won't have to do it on Friday or Saturday morning. Cause like I mentioned earlier in the video, um, my family was coming into town and I just wanted the house really, really clean and fresh and smelling good. So I was like, I'm not about to get up early Saturday morning and do this. And I'm not about to do it Friday when I get off of work. So sometimes we just gotta push through and that's what your girl did. I pushed through and I felt really, really good about it. watch this look 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 look, look. <laughs> that's my baby girl right there that's Layla she always want kisses like girl you know we don't mm -mm, mm -mm. you can kiss my own cheek a little bit but that's it that's it but that's my girl right there if you new here that's Layla that's our fur baby she is literally the sweetest dog ever okay I just love her so I always want to include her when i can so yeah that was my girl right there you know she had to do her little star appearance because she's a star in my eyes <laughs>
I'm telling y'all, there go the vacuum again. So make sure y'all get this vacuum. And I promise this video is not sponsored by Rock Rocket. I think that's who the vacuum's about. Rocket. This is the shark. I don't even really remember what vacuum I have. I know how to link it, but I don't even remember what it's called. So that's how you know this is not sponsored. So get your hands on this vacuum, girl. It's so much easier than trying to sweep all those spaces, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, but also hear me out. Hear me out, because I know y'all are probably rolling right now. Like, girl, you don't went in about this vacuum twice, but it's Thursday and you sweeping. Brooke, what do you got going on? I promise I'm not crazy. Listen, y'all, I don't know what happened in between Monday and Thursday, but it was just little pieces of like grass and stuff from Layla going out to the bathroom and coming back in and the vacuum was upstairs and I was trying to do this real quick because I had an appointment to go to um I was going to get my nails done so I was like let me squeeze this in real quick so I just swept in some places and like I mentioned the vacuum is upstairs I was like girl I don't feel like running up there going to get that so I didn't even mop like the whole hole downstairs. I just did a quick clean. So that's another tip. Do a quick clean sometimes. I'm not saying get the vacuum and just don't ever sweep again because that ain't even realistic. I be sweeping too. I'm just saying something easy and fast on those days that you're resetting all day and you're trying to get through each task like really, really fast, then get the vacuum. If not, sweep. Sweep, but definitely get your hands on this mop, okay? This mop is famous. Everybody has this mop and everybody doesn't have it just because. No, it's amazing. It's easy. You don't got to squeeze like back in the day. Now, ain't nothing wrong with squeezing that mop. Because, girl, if you know, you know. All right, y'all. So now we are headed into the nail salon. This is the same day. Um, I had an appointment at six o'clock, but y'all know your girl is always going to throw in some self-care. I feel like that's super important, um, especially when we're resetting, even if we're not resetting. We always want to take some time to treat ourselves and take care of our bodies from the inside out and do those little small things that make us happy. And for me, one of those are keeping my nails done. So on this particular week, I had an appointment on Thursday with my girl, Amy. If you're watching this, hey, Amy, shout out to you. Thank you, girl. I appreciate you so much. Y'all, she is the best. She is so sweet. She is funny and she gets the job done. Whatever I show Amy, she eats it up, okay? And you guys are gonna see that in a minute. I'll usually go on like Instagram or Pinterest and find me some nail inspo. I'll show her the picture. She won't say nothing. She just screenshot it and do her thing. So I love that for me. And she's fast, a perfectionist, a vibe. She just she just does her thing and she gets the job done. So I absolutely, again, love that for me. You guys are gonna see the picture of what I was going for right now. There it is. And then you'll see my nails. And like I said, my girl ate it up. So again, shout out to Amy. She did her thing. All right, y'all, so we back home. Um, now I'm gonna work on a task that is such a struggle and a challenge for me. Like it's very important to do, but I think it's one of those things that I just hate doing. Like if somebody said, what's one thing that is part of like resetting or something that we should clean on a regular that you just cannot get with or hate doing? Oh my God, y'all, it would be cleaning my makeup brushes. So I'm gonna be multitasking here. Um, I decided to go ahead and clean them. It had been a while. And once my makeup is not like looking super smooth, um, because if you don't know, when your makeup brushes are clean, your foundation and makeup just applies so much better. It looks so much better. So I was like, you know what? It's time for me to clean these makeup brushes, especially before my face start breaking out. So I let those soak a little bit um, while I refreshed the guest bathroom. Now this bathroom was already clean because a lot of the spaces in my home were already put together. It's just 
some stuff need deep cleaning or refresh. So I'm just refreshing the bathroom, disinfecting, wiping down the mirror, getting ready for my company to come um, that weekend that was coming up. So that's what I'm doing here, just doing a little refresh. And even if I wasn't having company, this is something that I may or may not do throughout the week because again, every week does not look the same. So keep that in mind. All your weeks don't have to look the same. Everything doesn't have to be repetitive. That's how you get bored, girl, and you be like, I'm not doing that. Oh, yeah, get your hands on this, okay? Everybody know Bath & Body Works, they the bomb anyway, but their room fragrance sprays are amazing. That one in particular is my favorite, which is Sun Drenched Linen, and I will have that linked as well in the description box. <laughs> all right y'all we have made it to our last day of this weekly reset which is friday february 24th so early this morning i got up i started off with doing some planning things right here i'm just writing out content um for my channel what i want to do for the upcoming month spring is on the way so i'm just thinking of to content ideas for that um, and then shortly after i'm going to go into my planner and just start documenting some things that i have coming up events birthdays um also writing out my content ideas in here as well basically setting myself some deadlines now i do this every week sometimes i do this every day there's some days where i'm not planning out content i'm actually like budgeting i may be making a grocery list i may be writing out like daily affirmations this it just it just alternates so um and then i'll maybe edit work on a couple videos before i get ready to log into work this particular morning i was editing this video that you guys are watching and i would do that as well throughout the week that way on saturday i'm not trying to edit the whole vlog or whole video it makes it easier because i'll record on monday and monday night i'll edit all those clips tuesday i'll edit all tuesday clips and so on and so on and it makes life so much easier so if you are a content creator definitely try that out it'll keep you organized and you won't feel pressure when it's time to drop a video <laughs> here we go there is proof right there for y'all that we are all crazy we just love to have a good time like i was telling y'all throughout the video my cousins were coming in my first cousins were coming in for the weekend um we had planned a girls weekend and i was super super excited this is around like 5 30 6 o'clock i had got off work and this is the last task that i wasn't able to get to so i asked my cousin to help me make the bed real quick and after that baby it was up okay we had a great time so y'all make sure to stay tuned for the vlog that will be dropping after this video y'all know i am super family oriented and we had a great time but y'all i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i really hope you all enjoyed i hope this motivates you to get some things done around the house to be productive and to remember to throw in some self-care if you did enjoy the video please make sure to give your girl a thumbs up leave me a comment share the video and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button join the brookie baby gang because the brookie babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you gonna have some fun too i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one brookie baby